Carroll. I'm a podiatrist at both the Easton as well as at the Shanersville campus in the foot and ankle department. As a podiatrist, I treat not only ingrown nails, plantar fasciitis, tendon problems such as Achilles tendonitis, but flat foot deformities, cavus foot deformities or high arch foot deformities, as well as trauma such as ankle fractures, fractures of the foot uh, and rear foot. Originally, I uh, wanted to be a podiatrist because when I was a child, I did uh, uh, typical things like every other child. And every day, I went to see the podiatrist, and he said, I need to stop work at 3 o'clock because I'm fly fishing in the afternoon. I thought, this is a great profession um, because I was very much so into fly fishing at the time. Unfortunately, I fly fish now uh, five times a year. I chose podiatry over general orthopedics because I liked working more so with small bones. I also liked the fact that uh, I didn't have to work specifically with uh, life and death matters, uh, as I have a lot hard time doing that as I largely work with children as well. I did my undergraduate training at IUP and then spent four years at the podiatry school in Philadelphia. I then uh, pursued four years of surgical education at the University of Pennsylvania Health Systems at Presbyterian Hospital. In those four years, we spent uh, time working both with trauma, pediatrics, as well as reconstructive surgery for the average individual who sustained uh, both injuries as well as uh, malalignment or deformities that occurred over time. One of the most common things that we have to educate our patients on, especially our diabetic patients, is that as you get older, you'll actually lose the sensation in your feet. One of the most common problems that we see, especially in diabetics, is loss of a toe or foot due to that lack of sensation. So what we always ask people to do is inspect the bottom of their feet daily as they could step on a tack, a thorn, a splinter, a toothpick, and they won't even realize it until four or five days later when there's a raging infection and now there's risk for limb threat. Acquired flat foot deformities, uh, something that we see very, very commonly. It's usually caused by a tendon imbalance or a tendon rupture. It's very common for people to lose the ability to turn their foot inward. They'll actually notice that their toes are pointing more outward. They'll also complain about knee complaints as their knee turns or rotates outward, creating arthritis in the knee as well as medial meniscus problems. That type of flat foot can be addressed both with uh, bracing, orthotics, physical therapy, or in the most severe cases, surgical intervention. And this is something that really affects people's quality of life because as we're getting older now, we're working and doing things much more actively than what we did in generations past. Unlike many other areas where there's a team of physicians uh, dealing with one individual problem or a set of problems, uh, there's still often the need to go outside to another big referral center, such as Philadelphia or New York. Here at Coordinated Health, we have physicians that cover the full scope of practice in both uh, podiatry as well as foot and ankle surgery, and there's really no individual problem that cannot be addressed with our team. One of the things I really enjoy at this point is the fact that my son is now old enough to start playing tennis. Uh, he's now a member of the racket club and we actually go out at least two or three times a week to do that. Um, he's actually getting good enough now that he, he does beat me up a little bit and I'm starting to feel my age. Other than that, my daughter's very avid in cheerleading and I am the official cheerleading dad. Um, I don't do so much of the stuff with their uh, uniforms, but short of that, the rest of the stuff falls to me. I do enjoy hunting. I've been to various areas, including Alaska, Africa, northern Quebec, uh, Colorado, as well as here in Pennsylvania. I always try to make sure that I at least get my dad out once a year to blow the dust off of him and get a little cardiovascular exercise. The best thing about being part of the foot and ankle department at Coordinated Health uh, largely revolves around each of our own individual interests. Uh, some of us like certain procedures, others of us like other procedures, and the nice thing is we can actually refer within our own group to provide the patient with the best experience and the best surgical hands. And there's no issues at all with, uh, it's my patient, it's his patient, it's your patient, it's actually all about the patient. Another advantage is, uh, with all the different specialties here at Coordinated Health, it's not uncommon to actually have a patient come in and say my knees hurting and my foot's hurting and very often they're related and other times they're not but we have the advantage of actually setting up an appointment immediately and there's also a very good chance that with that same day or within 24 hours they'll actually see that other specialist and there won't be any loss in continuity of care I think overall I get the most satisfaction in my job when I see somebody limping into the office as an initial patient and then by the time they leave whether it be two days two weeks or two months later, they're actually walking normally and uh, 
back or returning to their normal quality of